Hi, Timothy Unger here. In this video, I'm going to help you get started with Vim. If you've been watching my channel, you may have noticed I've been covering Emacs. Emacs and Vim are some of the oldest and some of the best text editors out there. So since I'm covering Emacs, I think I should also cover Vim. Okay, so let's get to it. So some of the basic stuff um, is just basic movements. When you go into Vim, when you open Vim the first time, and you open a file in Vim, it's going to be in normal mode. So you're not going to be able to write text right from the start. But to move around the text that you have, you can use J to go down, K to go up, L to go right, and H to go left. So this is the home row. So you can use these keys to move around a little bit. Okay. All right. <clears throat> One of the jokes that you may see is about exiting Vim. All right, so really, in all of these, you want to have a colon in front. So let's go here. We go to insert mode, which you do by an I. We do colon Q from no normal mode to exit Vim. So I can do colon Q. Okay, and it's going to warn me because I haven't saved it. I entered that uh, colon. So to save it, I can do W, or I could do WQ to save and quit. Okay, we can go back into it uh, by just typing vim lesson one dot markdown the file I was in. Okay, now all these will have colons in front. So this has a colon. Uh, this has a colon. This has a colon. Okay, so all of these have colons in front of them. Uh, and you can do these commands. Now you can do uh, colon. QW, so let, let me go and I'm going to go to the end of this line and write something. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to just quit without saving. So I'm going to escape to go to normal mode and do Q with an exclamation point. And it'll escape without saving that. So uh, you notice I wrote something on one of the lines, it's not there anymore, okay? Because I went without saving. All right, so next thing I wanna talk about is deleting single characters. So we can use the uh, X key to delete individual characters. So if I wanna delete this I, I can just type X. Delete the N, I can type X. I could type four X and delete four of the lines. And then I can undo this with U, okay? Okay, so I just undid that deleting. Now to delete a word, go to the start of the word here and just do DW and it deletes the word and the white space after it. Now I can undo to undo that. Now if I want to delete, say this word, but, but I don't want to delete the white space after it, I can do DE, okay? And that'll delete the word, but not the white space after, okay? To delete multiple words, um, you can do D and then the number before the word that you want to delete. So let's do D5W and it deletes all the words. Now, if I type U, I'll undo that. Uh, let's do D4E. It deletes all the words, but not that last white space after the last word. I'm going to hit undo to undo that. To delete the end of the line, I can do D and then the dollar sign. And that deletes to the end of the line. I'll type U to undo that. Okay, to delete to the end of the document, I can do D and then capital G, and that deletes to the end of the document. I'm going to do U to undo that. To delete to the beginning of the document from where I am, I can do D, G, G, and that deletes to the beginning of the document. I'm going to do U to undo that. Okay. And let's go down here a little bit. And let's go to deleting a line. So if I want to delete this line, I can type DD. Okay, I'm going to hit use undo that. If I want to delete multiple lines, so let's say I want to delete these two lines, I do the number two and then DD. Okay, I'm going to hit U to undo that. Okay. To insert text, we, I think I spoke about this, but I would type I to go into insert mode and I could 
type some text here like U I P G. That's not any kind of word. I'm going to escape and hit U to undo that. Okay. So we hit escape to go back to normal mode. To append text, uh, you type shift in A or uppercase A, and that will move to you to the end of the line in insert mode. Okay. So uh, I can insert text. Okay. Now if I hit escape, and I hit shift I, that's going to put me in insert mode at the beginning of the document. So uh, really I should have something that says prepend text. Uh, so this is prepended text. I think that's a word. And this is this my terminal is running a little slow because I have the thing recording on the background. So there's a little bit of a lag here, but let's just um, make a note prepend text because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually yeah, I don't think there's a dash there. Prepend text. What I'm going to do is uh, provide a link to this markdown document in the description below. So uh, shift or, or uppercase I to insert at the beginning of the line. Okay. Uh, undo, we've already talked about that. To redo, we're typing control R. So um, let me type, this is text, and then I'll escape and undo it. Now to redo, I can do control R and it brings it back, okay? Uh, I don't know why I saved that, but I did. Okay, to move forward multiple words. Let's say I wanna move forward um, five words. I do five W, that moves me forward five words. Now I can also do 5E, but that moves me to the last letter of the fifth word, okay? Moving back. So we can move back multiple words. Let's move back. Uh, if I do 2B, I move back two words, okay? Go to the start of the line. If I do zero in normal mode, I'll go to the start of the line. Go to the end of the line, the last character, I do the dollar sign. Okay, and that puts me at the last character in the line. Okay, uh, yanking text. So um, what I can do is YY to yank. That yanks the text, and to put text, I can do P. Okay, and that'll paste it right below. I can also uh, just yank a word, YW, and then P, uh, I would paste that word. Now I pasted it in an odd spot. Let me undo that. And let me just move here. And then you see yanks, yanks. So I pasted it twice. I'm going to undo that and then just save this point. P is the, the puts text that pastes it. Uh, replace text. We can do R here. So I can do R and change this to say N for node. Uh, I'm going to undo that, but um, R will change the letter. Let's change this to I. I can do R I, and it would change it to M I D E instead of M O D E. That doesn't make sense, so I'm going to undo that. All right. Uh, changing text. So C E changes to the end of the word. So if I type C E, um, I could type changes, uh, and then hit escape. Um, I'm going to undo that to just changes. Uh, CIW, um, that could change the inner word. And what I can do is I can do CIW and then do a dot. So if I want to do changes to uh, changing, let's do CIW and then I'll type changing. And then if I go to escape and go back and hit the dot, uh, the dot command will change all these. Now I want to undo that. So I'm going to do three U. Okay. And it undoes my last three changes. Okay. Uh, control G will give you the file status. So you see on the bottom here, it says lesson one dot markdown, 184 lines, 59% through the document. If I do G control G, it'll give me the word count along with some other information. So this is word 392 of six, 79 by 2046 of 3732, okay? Um, to go to a line number, 
type the number, then uppercase G. So let's say I want to go to line 12. I'm going to type 12. You see the 12 down here. And then I'm going to do shift G and it's going to go up to the 12th line. And let me set the number just to prove that. So I'm on the 12th line. Now, if I want to go to the 20th line, I can type 20 and then G and it goes to the 20th line. If I want to go to the top of the document, I can type GG. If I want to go to the bottom of the document, I can type capital G. Okay, let's go back up. Okay, so we talked about that. Uh, search. So I can search when I'm in normal mode if I just type this forward slash and then I start searching for, say, word. Um, I can hit enter and it'll go right to that word. I can hit lowercase n to search for the next word. Okay, and you'll see it moves to the next word. Or I could type uppercase n to move to the previous word, to search for the previous word in the document. Okay, if I go down further, um, if I want to toggle between matching bra brackets, I can use the percentage sign or shift five, and then that puts me here at the first one. And now I could do I and insert more stuff. Okay, uh, I'm going to escape and undo that. All right, if I want to substitute an old word for a new word, what I could do is colon s and let's say i want to substitute horse for cow i'll do horse forward slash cow forward slash g hit enter and it's going to change each horse to cow in the entire document now let's say i want to only do it to one so i would do a colon s forward slash let's change it back from cow to horse slash gc so that's going to check so it's going to go replace with horse i'll do yes replace with horse no okay so i only replace the first one um, you can also specify line numbers uh, where you want to do some replacement uh, so i could do like the first uh, hashtag is the first line number the second one is the second one so let's say i wanted to do uh, from line 131 to 133, and I wanted to substitute horse for cow, and I wanted to make all those changes. I would do G, and it would change those two, okay, between those lines, all right? Uh, external commands. So you can do a colon with the uh, bang signal, the exclamation point. So let's list out the storage. So if I do colon ls, Hit enter. Uh, you've got these three files: lesson one dot markdown, lesson dot markdown test, and test dot markdown. Okay. Uh, I can save the file as a different name, so I could save a file this as cool dash stuff. Uh, and you see, it says cool stuff written. Now, if I list the storage, do the pound sign list the storage, you'll see that I have this file called cool stuff here. Uh, I'm going to hit enter to get out of that. Now I can remove it with uh, the colon exclamation RM, and then let's remove cool stuff. I tab to autocomplete that, and I hit enter. Now if I list out the storage, uh, you'll see that there is no cool stuff. See, I, we had cool stuff up here. We removed it. Now we don't have cool stuff, okay? Um, all right, so we can select text. If, when we're in normal mode, we press V, and then we can use J, uh, H, J, K, and L to move around. So it's L, I'll select this word, and I could hit something like D to delete the word. I'm going to undo that, but uh, you can also do a visual block. So let's say I wanted to put roses are red, violets are blue, and some other flowers are yellow as a list in a markdown document document well if i'm going to put it as list items in a markdown document i can and i want to do say an unordered list i could put pluses in front i could put asterisks in front or i could put dashes in front let's say i want to put pluses in front of all of those so what i'm going to do is Control v and then j to go down for the visual block and then shift i so uppercase i to insert and then we'll do the plus sign with the space and i'll hit escape 
and it does that for each of the items. So that's a quick way to create a list in Markdown. Okay. Uh, I'm going to undo that and just save here. Uh, so if I want to insert the cursor in insert mode below the line I'm in, I could type just lowercase o. Uh, now I'm in insert mode. I could escape. Let's go back up here, type O. Okay, so now I'm in insert mode here. Okay, so that's a trick with insert mode. Uh, capital R to replace multiple letters. So let's do uh, capital R here. And we're in replace mode. Let's do several. This is like right over mode several letters, okay? And then I escape out of that. Uh, I'm gonna undo that, okay? Um, we can set stuff like ignore incremental search. So I can do set, and we can also set this in our vimrc inc search here. Uh, and then we could also do ignore case, but I'm just gonna do that, okay? now that I have that set, when I do the forward slash and I start typing, uh, let's type W-O, it, it searched for everything and it starts going through the document for everything that has W-O. If it just says W, it searches for everything that has W, okay? So that's incremental search and ignore case. We can also do splits with colon V split and then the name of some file. Let's say I wanted to create a new file called silly.markdown. Okay, I'm going to hit enter, and we've got on the left-hand side, silly.markdown. Uh, I can, let's do, I can write stuff here, and then I'm going to save it. And actually, I'm going to quit out of this window, so we just quit out of that side window. But if I now list out the storage, we see we have silly.markdown there. Okay, we can also do a split for horizontal split. So let's do, let's make a split here and let's do a vertical split here. So we've got some splits. So to move through them, I can do control W and then I can do L to move right, control W, J to move down, control W, K to move up between the splits. Uh, so I'm gonna go control W, L, I'm gonna quit out of this split and then control W, J and I'm going to quit out of the, that split with colon Q. Okay, uh, the doc command. So again, I talked a little bit about that with change in your word. So if I want to uh, change um, repeat to, or actually, let me let me do let me do something that is repeated. So let's go Shift A to go to the end here, and we'll type something. Tim is my name tim is cool tim is a teacher okay now let's say i wanted to change all of the tims i can go zero here to get to the start of the line and then ciw for change in a word and we'll say billy okay now i escape and i go anywhere on tim and i just press a period and it changes it to billy and same thing down here so I could change it all to Billy, okay? Um, all right, for commands, um, command line completion, you can do that with a tab or control D. So if I do E and I hit tab, I get a bunch of commands that I can run. I'm gonna escape out of that. Now, if I do E and then do control D, it's a little bit different. It brings it up a little bit different, but still I have commands that I can run here, okay? So, um, and that, that's pretty much for the tutorial. The one last thing I want to talk about is you want to get help. So let's say I want to get a help on W. I would do help on the W command. And then it shows me a bunch of stuff uh, for help there. Uh, and then when I'm done with that, I can quit out with colon Q. Okay. So hopefully this uh, Vim beginning tutorial was helpful for you. If uh, you guys do find this enjoyable, I may do some more tutorials on Vim. Sorry for the little bit of lag in the terminal. I'll have to figure out what's going on there. 
Uh, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.